Hey, what's up, folks at home? Don't you find it a little strange that we're constantly surrounded by all these invisible radio frequencies? Where are they? So I guess we'll need a way to read these signals, right? We're gonna need ST Microelectronics Steval Evaluation Board, a smartphone, and a hunger for knowledge. Oh wait, I just tried to raise my eyebrows and I couldn't. RF communication utilizes electromagnetic radiation to transfer information wirelessly. To transfer? Time varying electrical signals generate electromagnetic energy which propagates in the form of waves. It's how radios, walkie talkies, uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, cell phones all communicate and do stuff wirelessly. Duh. Today we'll be using ST Microelectronics Eval IDB 1007 V1 development board. And we'll test out its BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy, which is of course a form of RF communication. Write that one down. Bluetooth is a form of wireless connectivity technology used to transfer data and stream things like music from your phone to your car. BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy, is what we have on our board here. It's a new form of Bluetooth which offers reduced power consumption. BLE works well with devices that need to periodically send data, such as the sensors on this board that will allow you to read it from your smartphone. Oop, it's upside down. Not that it matters. Smartphone. Just because something's wireless doesn't mean it works the same everywhere. Some materials can cause significant attenuation of RF signals. And all electromagnetic radiation follows the inverse square law. Signal intensity decreases with the square of distance. The Steval board comes equipped with moisture and pressure sensors as well as an accelerometer. So you can test if it's, you know, moving around or not. And there's two little batteries in the back so you can just pop them in. I'm gonna do that right now. By attaching the antenna, antenna. By attaching the antenna, antenna. By the, by. By attaching the antenna to the board and turning on Bluetooth on our smartphones, we can access the board's data through the app, making it much easier to evaluate the strength of the Bluetooth signal. Inside the app, you can see on the main page there's an ST logo whose orientation mimics that of the board's, you know, because there's an accelerometer in here. It also displays a bar graph of each individual axis if you want more detailed data. Then the second page here, displays temperature and pressure and moisture um, and it's 29 degrees Celsius in here I'm a little warm I do have to I admit but on the third page there's something called RSSI RSSI stands for received signal strength indicator here we can read the power of the received Bluetooth signal measured in dBm with my phone placed next to it we get a measure of negative 42 dBm we can use this number as a reference point for all our other readings. Readings. Let's move it a couple inches away. Negative 57. Okay, now let's put it back. Negative 41, back at it. Okay, so what this means is we need to put it in my shoe. We can put it in my shoe and then stuff it with a shirt. Negative 51. Not bad, it's still not much lower than what we started with, so let's step it up a notch. Get it? Step. <laughs> Just my coffee, don't worry. Please note that I'm gonna unplug it because we don't wanna power and fry our board. I just wanna see if it makes it through the metal casing. Take him away, boys. Oh, negative 77. Whoa, that was a big jump. The negative 82. Uh, so you can kind of see, it's like it's like almost visualizing the waves now that we have the reading on our phone. Well, thanks for checking it out, guys. That's all I got for you. My coffee's getting cold again, so I'm gonna heat her up. Oh wait, I unplugged her because we didn't want to put the board in there and fry it. Where is the board? Oh, it's on top of the camera. I forgot. Good night.